What's up, people? Welcome back to another Fractured Daydream video. This time I'm going to go over the feedbacks from the closed beta tests. Yeah, the devs actually listen and they make some good changes, a lot of them. So instead of trying to make a screenshot one by one, I'm just going to record it on my, from my laptop. Um, I just haven't downloaded the software until now. It's like I have so I have like a couple of different ones that I use for PC and stuff. So I'm just like figuring, ah, I'm just going to download it. It's much easier to just go over like this way instead of screenshot one by one what they talk about. But from now on, probably easier to do patch notes and, you know, other things like that while reading it. But yeah, let's go over what are some changes they they made. So I want to add a function that allows me to cancel with a step or guarding in the middle of an attack. This is important because like a lot of uh, like when you're doing something, you're going to get stun locked. So you can't do anything until you finish like attacking or something. You can't really block. You can't really, like you can't really move at all. So surprisingly, they actually listen like majority of these like things I listed when I get it like send feedback and stuff. I'm surprised uh, pretty much majority of the stuff they actually listed on there and make changes. It's pretty awesome. I'm sure there's other people who send it too. But uh, I'm just glad to see them make those changes, you know. I've heard a lot of feedback when they cancel during an attack or dodge or defend. It's very important, you know. Um, like I already talked about it, you know. Make a development and decide how this thing keep getting in the way. Um, so normal attack can be canceled for some rush type attacks. In addition, one of the reasons for including the rush type is that cancellation, you know. Easy stopping does not match. Um the image of the uh, action stuff etc but it is really really good you know and they make the they, they need to add something like you know sure we're gonna lose some damage and stuff but we're we're gonna get killed if we if we, we're getting stuck in the middle of the like action and something if we can't really you know get out of it so the lock on f function is difficult to use oops it it is like let me scroll back up um this was definitely one of the issues i talked about a lot while i'm streaming the game because it's like it's like it, it games that design with the the right stick to shift like switching between enemies are pretty bad honestly because when you lock onto an enemy either a they're not going to change it or b use a different things to change like different buttons to change it because if because when you lock on you're gonna use your right stick to look around that, that and then that switch the lock on it is very inconvenient like uh, like the game i'm talking about final fantasy 7 they did they used the same thing and over there like switching lock on and stuff is kind of annoying as well like games use right stick to switch lock on is always going to be a problem so yeah um, make some adjustment below extend the lock on distance and yeah, there's a whole bunch you guys can read it, so I'm not going to read every single one of them. But, you know, it, it's really, really important that they they make it like, you know, enemies that it, they don't switch like so easily because you accidentally tap it and then, you are, and then you'll be end up switching it. It's quite annoying. And I can't choose my favorite character. Now, th this is one of the interesting ones where like, you know, like everybody wants to use the character, but as soon as you get in the match, it, it's already gone. Like, yeah. Well, they talk about like there will be, like, if there are five players among twenty matches, like if everybody picks, for example, Kirito, so they're gonna have to they're gonna put them in a different party and etc. But it's just I think I think it was just the um, closed beta. We don't we didn't have many characters, so therefore I I'm okay with that. But still, in the future, like. We'll be um, we'll definitely have a lot more different types of characters you can choose with a similar like the same class, so not everybody's gonna be running the same character. So unless they make it like you can use more than one, um, on the same team, which I don't see that gonna happen. <laughs> this is funny. I worry about the sound step. If people doesn't know what it means, is like um. Like you keep spamming the spamming the emos and then there with the sounds just oh my god. If you've never seen, check the stream. This is funny. Like we just said every time we finish a match or begin a match, everybody just spam the uh, spam the uh, um the emos and then the sound was just so loud and so glitchy. <laughs> they so they changed it to five seconds. 
honestly is good and bad because if you're down you're looking for a revive you can't really spam it so therefore you have to wait for five seconds by the time five seconds up you might be dead by then so that's gonna be a problem if they're doing it that way <laughs> but i can see it people were spamming it but they're not gonna lie it was funny to spam those emotes um fuel recovery crystals now this is one of the issues i talked about as well even though it's not really an issue f like for me but it is good to have like a little bit more crystals f for other people because for example like you go through the dungeons like before you get to the boss fight if you use up three the only way you can get it back is if you get killed it would make sense if you can get three more before you enter a boss fight and it will be fine because that way which they changed it here they say that there's a goddess statue gimmick like will recover like your crystal before you entering a boss fight so if you have all if, if you have hp full and the crystal it won't it won't matter so you don't really you know you don't really need it and it won't be there for you but if you don't have it then it's good to refill before you go into a boss fight or something because this was like everybody got to play it really 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 safe because to get through the entire um map and then get to the boss fight with whatever crystals that you have sometimes sometimes you can sometimes you don't have a bad run you're fine but mostly it's just like when you enter in a boss fight the only way you can kind of get it or yeah it's basically get killed so you might have three crystals like crystals to make it there but you might not have enough to get to the boss fight so to get through the boss fight coronation for resuscitation so this is a this is a good uh, tweak to make it easier to revive and benefit player who do so. Now reviving is kind of buggy because whenever the time counts down to zero, uh, even if you were there pressing the button, it it doesn't work. Like people will still get killed. There's so many times you're trying to revive people, like or at least I tried. I like, while I'm streaming, it's like people would I made it there like just in time even though there's still timer on there as soon as you press the button they're dead so if they make some adjustments then now they have like you can get like a super armor we added while you know reviving stuff like this is good like also i don't know what you know what benefits they talking about you know like oh so they talk about like they talk about like um, the healing item will drop when target is successful revived, you know. And if you if you're a downtime of clearing, do not have to revive people around you and loss. So player who are down at a time of clearing will be forcefully revived. So this is good. You can get some HP from reviving people. Now it will make people actually want to revive. But I don't know if it show up as a stat, but like well it does show up as a stat. It's just like if you get like more rewards or something for people like really go after reviving people because it is pretty much teamwork and etc so this is well nonetheless is still going to be a good change where they make it like us to put a super armor on so you don't actually take insane like to take damage because reviving is kind of pain because you can interrupt it so many times while reviving enemy like while the enemies are attacking it's almost impossible to revive somebody if some like some of those enemies are spamming attack you you get in and then you get hit and then it's pretty much over Unless they don't interrupt you while you're in, like while you, while you're reviving somebody, you lose HP. But now they put the super armor on, you don't actually lose anything. So which is good. Um, next thing, it's hard to see the difference in the roll of the roll. Make an adjustment, make a roll of the roll more sharp. So this is still like a direct translation. So it's kind of strange um, from the website. So fighter roll increase base attack. So I'm guessing they're confused. Like what are the uh, what are the roles do they what 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 are their like abilities like what are you supposed to play that role for so i'm guessing they make it more clear for that one it's pretty nice about cpu behavior this is one of the biggest issues when you're playing non online when you play with the bots on your team so adjust to prioritize reviving action yes this is what we need well they talked about it but they never changed it uh in the beta which is fine you know fix an issue where the CPU does not face the enemy when the player is using range attack, so... Well, maybe just make them smarter in general. 
but the reviving is important. Don't they just don't you know stand there and watch you die? <laughs> I mean, they revived you, but they don't prioritize reviving. Like, I got up, like, once or twice, like, throughout the entire beta. It was just, they were literally, like, not doing anything. About control of key configuration. So you can, you can change it, I'm guessing, to talk about it. So it's pretty nice. Um, synchron counter. Expand the range to which the operation reacts. So it is kind of important because it's there's a lot of time that it's kind of difficult to make it in there to even you know to use the counter because a lot of people there are across the map and geez like by the time you make it there is already like it's already over so whenever they're trying to make a change here it's gonna be it's always gonna put like I, they it's gonna be good so regardless this is just from the uh the beta and they already changed this so many things so i'm glad they actually listen uh to the player base and for the testing because like i i mentioned that pretty much all of these problems when i was doing streaming and i don't know if i mentioned everything in the review like you know the thoughts for the, the beta testing but these are pretty much the important stuff that i want them to fix and they actually fixed, so either either they make it a little bit better or they change this. So this is a good, and um, we'll see what happens when the main game comes out. And I'm sure there's gonna be more patches and etc. fixes, but this is a good start. So this is really really good because they really need it to make it the game much much better. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for the um, you know the report for the closed beta test for the um, fractured daydream. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time.